We'll guide you through how to set up an iPhone 17. This could be a pro as well, it doesn't matter. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. So I just went and unboxed this. This is just the iPhone 17 in 256 gigabytes, really nice phone. So as soon as you get out of the box to go and start using it, you just go and tap and hold this side power button. And then when you see the Apple icon, you can release and it should go and start up to this screen here. Now what we can do is we can go and swipe up on it. And what you can do is you can go and choose the language. I'm going to choose English. Now what you can do is go and choose your country or region. So I'll go and press that there. Then it'll go and be set. Now you can go and choose the appearance. So you can choose how you like text and icons to look. By default, it's set to default. Then you can go and choose medium or large. So in this case, I'm going to use default, but go through there and see which one looks best for you. Now, what we can do is go and quickly set up the iPhone. So you, if you've got an old iPhone, you can go and uh, put it nearby, have it unlocked, and then you can go and transfer everything really easily. In this case, I'll set it up without another device, so I'll tap there. Now, what we can do is we can go and connect to our Wi-Fi. I'll choose my network and enter the password. It then says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone, so go and be patient. That took less than a minute. Now what we can do is go and press continue here. You can then go and choose the app range. I'm the adult, so I'll do 18 or older. Now we can go and set up face ID. I'll go and press continue and we can go and press get started. Go and follow the on-screen instructions. You can do it with a mask as well. I'll do that later in settings. You need to go and choose a passcode. Let me go and choose the options here. I'll just go and do one now. Now what you can do is go and transfer your apps and data. So you've got these different options, whether that's from an iCloud backup, another iPhone, Mac or PC or Android. In this case, I'm gonna go and have a fresh start so I won't transfer anything. Next step is using an Apple ID. So if you have one, you can go and sign in. If this is the first time with an Apple device or product, you don't have one, you can press forgot password or don't have an account. And then what you can do is go and create a free one. I have one, so I'm gonna go and sign in here. I've just signed in, I've gone and read this already. So I'll go and press agree like this and wait. We can go and press continue here like so. You can go and transfer your phone numbers if you go and use the eSIM. You may have a physical one though. If it's physical, you'll need to go and open up the SIM tray here. And in your iPhone box, there would have been a SIM card tool. It looks like this and that'll go and pop it open and you can then go and put the SIM in there. I'll do it later in this case. Then I actually already have Apple Pay set up on my old devices. So I could go and add my card here, but I'll go and do that later. Choose if you want to go and share iPhone analytics, I won't. You can then go and set up Apple Intelligence and Siri, which is really useful. You can go and use camera control to quickly open it, which is this button here. And you've also got the action button, which is this button just above your volume rockers. Then you can go and set up Siri if you want. I'll go and do that later though. And there's emergency SOS, which is useful. Then you can press get started and there we have it. We've now gone and set it up. 